Hello and welcome back to topic 17, lesson 2. Remember, we are still busy talking about um, business relationships and teamwork. We are going to look at the interpersonal relationships in the workplace. So how we communicate in the workplace with employees and obviously managers. Workplace relationships. When a manager has the ability to manage and motivate uh, motivate other people, both individually and in a group, we say that he or she has good interpersonal relationships. Leaders, managers and staff members use interpersonal relationships for leadership and cooperative activities. Training can provide necessary skills to improve human performance, such as leadership skills, interpersonal relationship skills and technological literacy. In other words, you are not limited to what you think you can do. If you think you are not a good leader, you can simply receive some training to become a better leader. And again, if you are not good with technology, you can receive training to help yourself to better in it. Workplace hierarchies or chains of command. It is important for all managers to interact positively and constructively when they give colleagues tasks. In other words, they need to treat them with respect and help them by motivating them. They also need to delegate tasks, attend meetings, and when they discuss targets of other managers or staff, they also need to be positive. The chain of command refers to the line of authority that flows from the top managers of the business to every employee, not just certain ones. Through the chain of command, all employees and managers know who to report to and there is no confusion, which improves decision making and communication. In other words, when employees know who do they need to report to, it is easier. Remember I explained in class that if we want to report someone, we want to report them to the highest person far as possible. Now a chain of command is there to ensure that this does not happen. Remember as the owner of a business or the CEO, you do not have time to sort out employee problems. That is why there is a chain of command so that the other people below them, the managers, can sort out such problems. Levels of management. Okay, this one you guys know, you have been learning it since grade 8, so it's going to sound very familiar. The degree of power and authority that managers possess depends on the level of management they are. First, we have top level management. They are concerned with the relationship between the business and the external environment, external meaning outside the business. Then we have middle level management directly responsible for specific departments within the business. Okay, so this is your financial department or your um, admin, uh, admin manager, etc. Then we have lower level management. They are directly responsible for high level of productivity, technical assistance, motivating employees and accomplishing the day-to-day -day objectives of the business. So these people are the ones that are working with or other employees. Managers at different levels require different managerial skills and abilities. First we have conceptual skills, interpersonal skills and technical skills. Okay, remember interpersonal, how you communicate, technical, how you work on computers, etc. The importance of each individual in achieving business objectives. Businesses can show employees that they are important by treating all employees with respect. Remember, respect goes a long way to provide work security and benefits. Okay, so these benefits can be anything from um, medical aid to only working until two o'clock on a Friday. And work security refers to you do not lose your job very easily. And then lastly, rewarding all employees with fair salaries. Business can show customers that they are important by ensuring that the prices are fair, delivering quality products and services, and providing after-sales care and advice. Okay, remember, if you think of yourself as a customer, you want the very best. And this is how a business can ensure that customers will return. Businesses can show society that it is important by offering or supporting aid, care, and advice, running projects to raise funds for community upliftment. Okay, and again, this is giving back to the community and therefore the community will support the business. 
Okay, guys, please do activity seven on page two to four for me. Please stay up to date. You are almost back to school and your book needs to be up to date.